Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to a different kind of video today. Today I want to be talking about the Xenomorph again, but specifically with how we can make the Xenomorph more accurate. Uh, last month I did a video where I covered a Reddit thread on the Dead by Daylight Reddit that got a lot of attention talking about how people feel about the Xenomorph and their implementation into Dead by Daylight. There was a lot of stuff in there that I didn't feel was... Uh, actually very productive it was stuff talking about how like the flame turrets were too oppressive which is something that you can learn and get better at uh but there was a lot of really really good takes in here that i think that we could implement into potentially something that makes the character feel more like the xenomorph so i have been ever since this reddit thread came out kind of thinking of like what can we do here how can we make the xenomorph more accurate to its film interpretation today we're going to be talking about kind of like a prototype kind of not rework of the power kind of an addition like a kind of a sub power that i'm adding to the xenomorph in order to make it feel more accurate to the films so yeah let's go ahead and get into it first off i'm not really going to be focusing on this because it's just a, a very very easy fix so this is just a very quick and small aside we will be adding the fact that the motion sensors either do not work in the tunnels at all or have such a short range that they don't really matter too much because one of the big things that was said in the reddit thread was that the xenomorph is a stealthy creature in all of its uh, iterations in the alien franchise but in dbd it is not because the motion sensors have 41 meters of range meaning they just kind of rat you out no matter what <laughs> so the tunnels should grant actual undetectable and the motion sensors should not counter that without further ado let's get to the main idea all right so now we're getting to the meat and potatoes <laughs> of today's video the new sub power that i'm adding to the xenomorph we are going to be implementing face huggers and chest bursters into the character's power the way i thought of this and this is all spitballing so far so don't hate me <laughs> don't hate me um i was thinking that we add and or implement a scourge hook system sort of where there's these special hooks that you have to go out of your way for things that are a little bit more risky to get the survivors to that have orvomorph eggs placed in front of them. I'm sure if you've been in this situation before when you're running scourge hooks, sometimes scourge hooks are very convenient. Sometimes you have to go way out of your way to get them. And if you're not running, ag running agitation, you kind of end up not getting a whole lot of value out of your uh, perk. So something similar like this, where you get a reward for something that's potentially risky. Now I went back and forth on whether I wanted like a pig or Sadako related system uh, when it comes to the, the, in the infection of the survivors here. Uh, ultimately I kind of, I don't know, pig route is super easy, but ultimately I feel like we should do something unique, something that is similar to what they do, but ultimately different overall. So there's like uh, some, you know, we're not stepping on too many toes with the other characters. My idea is that once face hugged, a player would become impregnated. And to make this like truly accurate to the Alien franchise, walk with me here, there is no way to remove the infection. Hear me out, hear me out. Don't, don't start typing it. Let me explain. <laughs> Instead of having a removal system like Pig or Sadako, uh, the player would now earn a long timer based on the amount of gens left plus some additional time because obviously we know uh, one to one the amount of gens left on the map and the time it takes to complete them doesn't always work out the way. So there'd be a little bit of wiggle room there uh, and the infected survivors would have to complete the remaining gens in that certain amount of time or else, you know, <laughs> they'd get the uh, chest burster. Xenos would, that are really good at macro pressure would really benefit from this because if they could delay the game long enough, they could get value out of the inevitable death that comes with being a host in the Alien Universe thing, Alien 3, which is like the whole point of that movie. I weighed potentially having some sort of like negative effect to this, like some sort of like debuff, but realistically having it the whole time wouldn't make sense since there's no way to remove it. I think if we're going to implement a debuff, like some sort of like speed penalty or something to that extent, it would make the most sense uh, as the timer grows closer uh, to actually having you have the chest burster, which is kind of similar to how it is in the movies. Like literally the first film with Kane, he's infected and you, you can't even tell. And he just starts like coughing and <laughs> freaking out at the dinner table out of nowhere. Um, in other movies, it's a little bit closer to like probably realistically what would happen where um, they start getting a little sick and a little weary, feeling out of it as it like it's getting closer and closer to the time that the chest burster would burst out of their chest so that we're kind of i would kind of base it more off of like that where like as the timer gets closer it's kind of like a warning that you're like you're slowing down you're not being able to perform your tasks as well uh, as it's getting closer to the actual chest burst time i think this is good because gameplay wise this would be uh, uh just fun outside of feeling like an alien film it would put pressure on the team to not mess around and waste time i'm sure you, if you've been in solo queue you've 
had plenty of teammates. So you see the little survivor HUD on the left side of the screen. And for some reason, they're just like doing totems, doing chess or doing nothing at all. And you're just like, guys, get on a gen, guys, get on a gen. And they're just like, not. This would put a, a, a sense of urgency on those players to like, okay, if I, if I don't contribute to the objective, I just die. <laughs> like, I really need to get out of this game like right now or else. Bleh. <laughs> so it would make your solo queue teammates uh, feel a little bit of pressure uh, to get actually help you actually get the objective done. Also, something that killer mains hate a lot is bully squads that actually try to make the game as long as possible so they can, you know, do head on stuns at Dead Dog Saloon or they can do a bunch of uh, like blinds and extend the match out as long as possible just to bully you. Now, those players would not be doing that because, well, if they waste too much time doing that, <laughs> the, the chest burster would get them. So they would be more encouraged to not harass you, not make you have a long, awful match, but to actually play the game, <laughs> which would obviously be a, a nicer experience for you overall. This would also be great for add-on variety because uh, the Xenomorph, despite the fact that they're a very cool character in their current iteration, don't really have a variety of playstyles you can apply to them. I've talked about this before, both on the YouTube and on stream, is that they kind of like suffer from success is because they have such a well-rounded base kit that not a lot of perks synergize with them. And you kind of have to play them pretty linear, linearly. <laughs> and the Xenomorph does have a handful of good add-ons, but they mostly revolve around buffing the crawler mode in one way or another, whether it be by debuffing the turrets, vault, uh, buffing your vault speed, but it's all basically all around the crawler mode in one way or another. Um, however, with these new abilities, you could have stealth add-ons outside a cat carrier uh, since the stealth has been buffed within the tunnels. And also you could have add-ons specifically for the uh, life cycle of the, uh, the face hugger situation and that part of your power and kind of try to emphasize on that over the tail attack crawler mode situation that seems to be the only thing that's like you know, amazing about the Xenomorph as of right now. Would these changes make Xenomorph too strong? Maybe. As of this week, Odd Starve has been making, like remaking their tier list that they like to do every so often, and they only put Xenomorph in like B plus tier. Um, so they could stand to have uh, some minor buffs at least to get them into like A or A minus tier. Not that B plus is a bad place to be, but I feel like adding something that would just make them feel more fun on both sides, more entertaining and more um, accurate to their film portrayal would not be bad just to have them up in like the top 10, 15 characters in the game. I think that's a fair trade off. Would the tail attack need some changes for this? If we're going to add this, maybe it's one of those things we'd have to look at in the PTB and be like, OK, this character's just like way too oppressive with both of these things. And maybe we'd have to adjust something. But like I said, it'd be something we have to play out in a uh, player test build or public test build. Sorry, I said the wrong acronym. Don't hurt me. <laughs> and like I said before, this is ultimately just a suggestion. We're just spitballing, so to speak. I'm 100% open for no, that'd be terrible. Or, oh, this would be cool. But you should probably adjust this uh, so we can sculpt this idea into something that'd be awesome. Ultimately, behavior is not really going to implement this. I really wish they would. <laughs> but realistically, it's probably not going to happen. But it's still cool to think about and think about a like out of my dream scenario of like the best of both worlds because i do like the xenomorph the way they are but i can see definitely where you're coming from that they could probably implement more of their in-universe powers to feel truly like both sides are in an alien film so yeah i that, that was just what i came up with what do you guys think uh please let me know down in the comments below because we're just trying to figure the, out this idea so far and trying to sculpt it into something perfect so let me know so we can try to uh curb this towards something cool but other than that it's gonna be it for today's video friends but i do upload daily so i will see you tomorrow but if I do not, I will see you when I see you, friends. Bye-bye.